Hey guys, make sure to stay tuned and we'll explain about common mistake people make when replacing fuses and relays that can end up you spending quite a bit of money on diagnostics to parts that you may not need. Make sure to stay tuned the end. Hey guys, welcome back to Free Car Repair. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a Ford Explorer that generation here from year 2011 to year 2015. If you need to find where the keyless entry fuses and relays are located, where you can guys find them, where you can buy cheap parts and tools, guys, that way you do not waste money and time. All that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Please make sure to stay until the end. So before we start, let us tell you guys a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart. We show you how to fix engines, transmissions, uh, engine lights, transmission lights, fuses, relays. Why we do all that guys? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these free videos. By the way, check out our YouTube channels. We have guys more than 15,000 free repair videos that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. So let's go ahead and start on it now. So guys, the keyless entry fuses and relays where you can find them, we will demonstrate on this Ford Explorer that we have right here. What we guys need to do now, first we need to open a fuse box that's on the driver's side. Open the driver door, come inside guys, and you need to look in the, uh, see the driver's side footwell compartment behind the parking brake paddle, look up in the dash on the left side, you will see one black cover like this one. Press these two tabs, open that cover, and you will find the main interior fuse box with a layout like this one here. Before we continue, let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. So let me explain why it's super important guys to test fuses. Fuses, not often you can see if they're burned or they're good. Sometimes they may seem perfectly fine, you think it's a good fuse, you put it back in and you end up uh, spending money and time on parts and problems that uh, do not exist guys, when all you have to do, test your fuse, find out it's bad, replace it, fix your problem. So we will have a video how to test a fuse, okay, different kinds of fuses and how to test relays guys. We're going to put the link in the description of the video below specifically to that video please check it out so here what we guys need to check specifically guys for the uh, keyless entry let's zoom in a little bit now we'll start by checking two fuses one of them is fuse 18 right here very important fuse and then you need to guys check fuse number 21 that fuse right here what about guys relays you don't have any relays, those are known as relay fuses, check those, the relay part is controlled by the, bo by the PATS module or the body control module also known as BCM. So guys, by the way, you have all kinds of different fuses, relays, circuit breakers, and check under the hood. It's even more complicated, guys. And even you have some special fuses, okay, like this one right here. One time we needed a replacement fuse, we couldn't get one, and we were stuck in the middle of nowhere because of that. We'll recommend to buy some, put them in the glove box for a peace of mind. We'll share the link in the description of the video below for your convenience, where you can get them at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.